Good evening, everyone. Um, it's really a pleasure to see so many familiar and unfamiliar faces together in this room because um, I'm Georg and I'm um, directing the Office of European Alternatives here in Berlin. We have currently run in the last five days a boot camp for young activists from all across Europe. I think it has been around 50 people from 13 countries, from all kinds of different struggles who have come together here to learn, to research, to laugh, always to, also to cry, to build together. So we all together can live in the world which is making us care for ourselves, each other, our communities and our loved ones in a way as we would like to. Because we assumed before we organized this boot camp to come together here that this world where we're actually right now living in is actually preventing us from caring as we would like to. And it's also disempowering us in a way that we very often lose faith in our ability to build the power which is necessary to collectively fight back. Fight back against the social, the economic, the political order of our time, which is not just impacting us in an abstract sense on a systemic level which we cannot really oversee which kind of impact it has but it's impacting us in our communities and it's also impacting us as individuals it's making us very often powerless it's making us very often lonely sometimes hopeless and I'm very happy that we're here in Berlin because I believe that Berlin is a city where many people come to, to live here because either the world is in such a shitty state that countries have been destroyed, whole societies are under threat and people seek for safety here, or people are coming because they feel alone they feel powerless and they feel hopeless in the places where we live. And I think Berlin is also a very good place to bring all kinds of different activists together because Berlin has itself an activist scene which is really fucking powerful and we're very happy that we're bringing here also the people who struggle across Europe and across the world for a life in dignity, in justice, and with equal rights for all of us. Because we could abstractly talk about democracy and what it is all about, but in the end it's about all of us creating the conditions which allow us to have ownership of our lives, of our workplaces, of our neighborhoods, and of our futures. And as our future is very much under threat, I'm very happy that we can meet here together to share the challenges we face, to share the needs we have, to celebrate the victories we sometimes have, to grieve also about the losses we experience, to support each other and to build stronger connections which allow us to be more hopeful, more joyful and more courageous in our collective futures. And it's also essentially about inspiration. It's about inspiring each other so we can breathe on. So all the ones who you are here, who we love <laughs> throughout these five days, of intense experiences so you can move where you go and be together even if there is geographical distances between us 
And at the same time, people here from Berlin, knowing that there is people out there in the world, were also with us. Because, um, you know, five days of training and education are very emotional. <laughs> and on Monday, when we started in our opening session, I told you that we want to give to you, but we also want to take from you. And we take a lot. And I think that's what we're here for. Giving and taking so we can become stronger together, stay connected, and fight back in all the places where all these fuckers are really killing people, destroying our lives, destroying the planet, and where you all care about. And I'm really happy that we have today, basically, the first starting point is six talks, where it will be Domenico and Fiore from Italy presenting to us their campaign on the right to die. It will be Sanas and Elahe presenting the work of the Women Life Freedom Collective in Berlin. It will be Rob and Ahmad presenting work of the Wor Gorillas Workers Collective here in Berlin. It will be, sorry, I'm <coughs> losing. Um, it will be uh, Patricia and Bana telling us more about the Deutsche Wohnen and Co. and Eichmann campaign. It will be also Frushi and Veronica telling us about their struggles as a student movement in Hungary. And it will also be Gizgus and Piotr from Ant Fossil Occupy in Rotterdam. And I'm really happy that we all have you here. And let's just have a nice and fun, inspiring evening together where we celebrate each other, where we support each other, and which we can remember together in the future. So I'm very much inviting our first speakers to come on stage and give them a big applause.